What's up everyone, welcome to Tech Savvy Wiry. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can take your slim PS Vita, do a minor trick to it, and let the colors of this look almost as good as the OLED Vita, which is the original ones. So if you guys don't already know, the very first PS Vita that came out used an OLED technology for the screen, which gave the colors a lot more vibrancy and a lot more saturation. When Sony did a modification to it and released a slim model, they went away from the OLED and brought about an LCD screen. So the differences between this and the OLED one are very, very clear when you put them next to each other. You'll notice that the clarity of the colors and stuff look a little bit washed out on the slim compared to the OLED. However, if you have a modified Vita, you can go ahead and make changes to it to give the colors more richness and more vibrance, and it just makes it look so much more better. So right now, what you guys see here is the Vita with just the stock colors out of the box. And you can tell it's kind of washed out. It doesn't look super crisp, it doesn't look super sharp. Again, it is only 544p resolution, so it's not like the resolution is all that fantastic. However, we're, I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and make the change. It's super easy, super quick. Let's get a word from today's sponsor, and then I'll catch you guys up. Today's video is sponsored by GVGmall.com. GVGmall carries a wide variety of game currencies and gift cards that you could use to take your gaming to the next level. If you're looking for a fresh copy of Windows or Microsoft Office, then you can certainly find those on GVGmall.com as well. They are priced very competitively and offer legit copies of Microsoft software. You can pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro for under 15 bucks. Visit gvgmall.com for more information and use code TSB to save during checkout. So welcome back guys. Okay, so very first thing you're gonna need to have to get this to work is you're obviously gonna need to have your Vita that's modified. Now when I say modified, you should be able to have the apps like H and Core, Vita Shell, those are the two basic apps that you're gonna be need for your Vita to work with this trick. So if you guys don't know how to do that, I have a ton of tutorials on how to modify your Vita and they're super beginner friendly, super user friendly. So even if you don't know how to connect this to your PC, you'll be fine, trust me. Um, check out the links in the description below. I'll leave links to all the videos of the different tutorials that I have on modifying the Vita. There's one out there for every version. Doesn't matter what version Vita you have, this will work. Now basically guys, there's this is super simple to do. We just have to copy one file over from our computer to this. I'm gonna leave the link for that file in the description below. Let's go over to the computer. I'll show you the name of the file of what you need to get. We'll copy it on here and then we'll cut over to the actual Vita so you guys can see the installation process of it. Super short, super sweet, and super simple. Let's go over there and take a look. All right guys, so on the PC now, all we gotta do is get one file. So I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. The name of the file is actually called Registry Editor. All you gotta do is click on this VPK and go ahead and download it. Once this VPK is downloaded, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our Vita after we open up Vita Shell. So make sure you guys have your Vita modified. Go ahead and open up Vita Shell and hit the select button so that way you can access your Vita. Once you are able to get it connected in, and hear that annoying sound that always comes up, you should be able to see your screen just like you see on mine, how it popped up like this. Um, and just go ahead and drag and drop into that folder or the root of your PS Vita. So it should be here, registry editor copied over into the root. I didn't have to enable hidden files or any of that stuff. And that's all you need to do with your computer. Download this file, copy it over to your Vita, and you're good to go. Now let's go over to the Vita and I'll show you guys the next steps. Okay guys, so once we're at our Vita, just gonna scroll down to the actual file for registry editor, and we're gonna go ahead and install this file. So just follow the instructions to continue the installation. It'll ask you for a warning sign over there, just ignore that and hit OK and let it go ahead and install. It should take only a few moments to install this. Once it's done, exit out and scroll down and you should see a white icon like that pop up. Go ahead and open up Registry Editor. Go down to Config, into Display. And here we're gonna edit these last two line items. Color Space Mode, we're gonna go ahead and change that figure from zero to one and hit the green arrow. And we're gonna do the same thing for RGB Range Mode zero to one, hit the arrow. Once you finish this, press start. Should do that, and now we're gonna just go ahead and power cycle our Vita, or restart it basically. And there you go. And you guys can see how much more vibrant those colors are. Just look at the color saturation of the little icons.
And that's all. And that's pretty much how easy it is to install the registry edit onto your PS Vita and go ahead and adjust the settings so that your display looks more vibrant. Overall guys, it's a very, very neat trick. It's a great way to make your LCD on your slim Vita shine more and make it look much better so that you don't miss out too much on having or not having an OLED model Vita. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised and amazed at how good this simple little trick made the Vita look. I hope you guys like this as well. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button if this helped you guys. I'm on my road to 100K. Help me get there guys. Um, and of course, if you guys want me to do some of the services for you, you can send your Vita to me. Check out my Patreon down below and the link for that and then you guys will get up to date with what's going on anyways guys thank you very much for staying through to the end of this video as always stay safe stay smiling and i will catch you guys on my next one peace out